Hello everyone, today I would like to show you the MLX9061 non contact temperature sensor and how we can use it with Arduino. Unlike other temperature sensors that we've been dealing with before, this type of sensor measures infrared radiation that is emitted by bodies and therefore is very useful in situations where you want to measure temperature without necessarily having contact with the body. So it is very important in situations where, for example, you can use it in measuring the body temperature using the temperature guns and in infrared thermometers used in a number of applications like in taking the temperature of air conditioning units and in engine cooling systems and also in fire detection systems so let me show you a closer look at this temperature sensor so this is the mlx 90614 non contact temperature sensor and as you can see it's not a very big sensor it's rather small and only has four pins it has the vcc or the power line this is the ground this is the clock pin and this is the data pin. In other words, if you're going to, con to connect it to the microcontroller like Arduino, it will be using the I2C communication protocol. And then here you can see this metal casing. This is where the actual sensor is placed. So inside here we are having an infrared thermopile detector and a digital signal processing unit with a low noise amplifier and high resolution 17-bit analog to digital converter that is to produce the digital signals that are going to be read by our micro controller so this sensor has a temperature range of negative 40 degrees to 125 degrees celsius for ambient temperature and negative 70 to 380 degrees for object temperature and also has a 90 degree field of view for measuring temperature in other words it measures the average temperature of all objects within that field of view so what we mean by a field of view i can use a simple demonstration here so what we mean by the field of view for example if this is our sensor I use the simple piece of paper here if i place the sensor here so as you see this white space marks the field of view in other words it is 90 degrees here so the temperature is going to be measured is the average temperature of all the objects that will be within this field of view if you're interested in knowing more properties regarding this temperature sensor you can always look at the data sheet for this sensor in the description below i'll put a, a link where you can find more information regarding this temperature sensor Okay, now let's go and have more look at how we can be able to use this temperature sensor with Arduino measuring temperature. Yeah, before testing the sensor with Arduino, we need to first install the necessary library to run the sensor. So we are going to get this other fruit, MLX90614 library. So just go to GitHub. I'll put the link in the description for where you can be able to download this library. So you just go to code here and then you download the zip folder. After downloading the library, then you unzip it and include it among the libraries near Arduino IDE. So in my case, now this is the path to my libraries, they are under documents, Arduino libraries. Then this is the Adafruit MLX90614 library that I'm going to be using to run the temperature sensor. And also note that when you download the library, you may need to do some changes in the way you name the library because if you look at the GitHub version of the name and this one, they be different. So I had to change and use the underscore here in this name to differentiate it from the one which I downloaded from GitHub. So now let's go to Arduino IDE and we see how to use this library to run the sensor. I begin by testing the sensor. So in that case, I'll just go to here at file, then examples, then I look for other fruit mlx90615 library then i look for mlx test and then open this so this is the simple mlx test which we use to see if our sensor is running properly so here we just connect the sensor to the arduino and then we check it out on the serial monitor to see how it is working so this is how we connect the mlx90614 non-contact temperature sensor with arduino so here i've shown two connections one is where the sensor is not attached to a breakout board. In that case, you need to include 10 kilo ohms pull-up resistors on the clock and data pins for the I2C communication. Then you also need to have a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor across the power supply, as indicated here. But if you are using a sensor on a breakout board, then you don't need all these connections because all those other components have been included on the breakout board. So just directly attach the sensor to the Arduino by connecting the VCC to 5 or 3 volts because these sensors come in two types. There is one which is 5 volts and another one which can use 3 volts. So depending on the one you are using, you put on the power supply, then ground goes to ground. Then you have the clock pin which goes to A5 of the Arduino 
and then the data pin which goes to a4 so after uploading then we can check off the sensor we got the serial monitor and then the serial monitor will be showing us the ambient temperature and the object temperature the ambient temperature is simply the temperature of the room or the general atmospheric temperature where you are then the object temperature is the average temperature of all the objects within the field of view of the sensor so here you can see the ambient temperature is like the general room temperature is almost constant and the object temperature changes for example if i bring um, an object which is a bit hot near the sensor we see the object temperature going up so the temperature is being given in degrees celsius and degrees fahrenheit so that's a simple demonstration of how to begin using the sensor so now i use this very concept but in this case let me display the temperature on an oled display this is the connection between the i2c oled and the mlx 90614 non-contact temperature sensor the connection is rather simple because both of these devices are using i2c communication so it means they're going to share the i2c pins of the arduino board in other words you connect the clock to a5 and the data lines to a4 and also you make sure that the power supply and the ground lines are also properly connected as indicated here let me have a look at the code that we are going to be using this is the code we are going to be using so you simply add the necessary libraries we need these first three libraries adafruit gfx the ssd1306 and the fonts libraries for controlling the oled then the mlx90614 h library is for controlling the non-contact temperature sensor then I'm going to be using an OLED display with 128 by 32 pixels. So you need to change this if you're using 64 pixels or any other OLED display. You need to write the correct dimensions. Then here you initialize your display and also initialize the temperature sensor. Most of these functions here are for simply displaying the temperature readings on the OLED display. So in the description below, I put a link where you can make reference on how to use the different functions and how to display different fonts and characters on an OLED display because I've done a number of tutorials on that. Maybe the major thing I can talk about is this function here, which is used to convert the float variables into string form that can be then displayed on the OLED display. But you can take your time and go through the code slowly by slowly. It's not very hard to understand. I'll just upload this code to my Arduino board and I'll show you what you're going to observe after uploading. So as you can see now, you can be able to see the temperature. In this case, I'm only showing the object temperature. I'm not showing the ambient temperature. And I've also included a simple animation in the form of a thermometer, which shows a rise and decrease in temperature. All that has been demonstrated in the code. You can follow it up and see how those animations and fonts have been achieved on that display. So this is the simple demonstration of how to display the temperature readings from the MLX90614 non-contact temperature sensor on the I2C or LED display. You can use this in a number of applications. A common one will be the temperature guns for measuring body temperature. So that's it for today. Hope you've learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos and to watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.